Hey guys, it's Witty, and I wanted to take a break from being a plant sent here from James Workshop to share with you guys an adventure that I went on this week. So I have been on this quest for nostalgia. Perfect timing. My brother messages me and he tells me that at our mom's house, there's a giant tote filled with our old Pokemon cards and video game consoles. So I had no idea that these things were still in my family's possession. So I had to go, I had to check it out. I had to see if they even still worked. Here's what happened. Um, I don't really know where to start. We got a big old bag of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I think this was made to put sandwiches in it or something. So I'm 20, huh? I forgot how old I am. I'm 28 years old. If you're, you know, around my age, you absolutely remember that Pokemon just was the coolest. <gasps> oh, this must be where like the favorites go because I see some holographics in here. I'm going to send your ass to the shadow realm. <laughs> my brothers actually got Yu-Gi-Oh banned from their school because they would play for keeps. That's how they ended up with so many cards. Good job, brother goblins. <gasps> I picked this up and the first thing I saw was blindly loyal goblin. Wait, let me show this to you. Tell me why he's got like Giga Chad face. <gasps> uh -huh. We got Wario and his fat ass. Bowser. For any game that you can play Bowser, you better believe I'm Bowser. We got a goofy little Mario. This is my son. Let's look in this plastic bag. It's a little overwhelming. I'm not really sure where to start. Oh, we got N64 games. What do we got? We got Command and Conquer, Battle Tank Global Assault, Snowboard Kids, Gnarly, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, also gnarly, Gauntlet Legends, classic, <gasps> Donkey Kong, Miss Pac-Man, Toy Story 2. I'm gonna say it, Sid did nothing wrong. He was creative. He was just taking toys and gluing them together, and if that makes you a psycho, NASCAR 99, <gasps> Scooby-Doo classic creep capers? I should bring back my Velma cosplay. <gasps> hey, you Pikachu. I really liked this game. Bio Freaks? Oh my gosh. I completely forgot about Bio Freaks. This one's rated mature, though. 17 plus. I don't know what I was doing playing this game. Cruising USA, baby. I don't believe in speed limits. Goldeneye 007. Who do you think was the best James Bond? Was it Sean Connery? <gasps> Yoshi's Story. It's your story. Super Mario. It's a classic. It's a classic. Mortal Kombat! <gasps> Rampage! Oh my gosh, Rampage. Okay, so I remember we had to go visit family. We stayed at the Holiday Inn, and there was a, a pool. And I remember we were playing Rampage, like pretending to be in Rampage, and we were like picking different animals. I think I was a big rat. I don't know. But I remember we were playing Rampage and just being like, bah, 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 and like jumping into the pool. Oh my god. We were also Godzilla kids, so oh, I love this. Sarge's Heroes 2. That's another one that my brothers played and I did not. Although I do remember putting nail polish on their army men sometimes. It was almost like I had this like affinity for painting small figures. That was a good bag. Also, when I was looking around, I looked through a bit of my childhood toys. She's gorgeous. They're all here. Yeah, the classic Barbie had like the... I love the way that they used to do the eyes. I remember playing with her too when I was little and she was like the only curly hair Barbie. I remember this guy? Snaggletooth. Snaggletooth. I remember her. Oh god, yeah, you played with her so much. I think you drew her in her belly. Or her head. I think I drew in the back of her head. There it is. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> that's, oh my god. If that's not the most well-loved Beanie Baby in the whole entire world. Yeah. Got the cat. Can you even read it still? And also, I found this little Disney charm bracelet. I guess it was my mom's when she was a little girl, and then she gave it to me. I can't believe that this fit around my wrist. <gasps> it still does? Wait. What? My brother looks sinister. And I'm just like... Looks like a bug. <laughs> I used to love playing Pokemon with my brothers. I never got super into playing Yu-Gi-Oh with them. I would play with them sometimes. But Pokemon? Absolutely. Yeah, here we go. I mean, I doubt that any of these are worth money. Yeah, yeah there's some like holographics in here and stuff. But I mean, we played with them. <laughs> these are these are well-loved cards. But look at it. Oh my god. Oh, I had, 
I thought these were all gone. <gasps> oh, this is not only Pokemon Ruby, but this is my Pokemon Ruby because I scratched the art off of mine. I know my Blaziken was level 100. I don't know if everybody else in my party was. I definitely don't have a Game Boy Advance. I wonder how much they cost now. <gasps> the nostalgia. Oh, man. My old next door neighbor, his name is written on this. He must have given this to us. Okay, this is making more sense because some of the stuff I'm like, where did this come from? <gasps> Ice Age? I used to play this a bunch. Here's the PlayStation. Does it have anything in it? No. I'm going to say one of my big hopes for this is that I find Dr. Mario because I absolutely used to love playing Dr. Mario. Ooh, PlayStation A Bug's Life? Okay, I do remember a Bug's Life game. <gasps> Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Frogger? I remember one time my little brother and I were waiting to cross a really busy street and I remember turning to him and being like, are we too small and this street is too big? Perhaps we cannot cross this street. And he just turned to me and he was like, I play Frogger. And I was like, that is concerning. Dragon Ball Z. My brothers and I, we asked our mom, we were like, who's your favorite Dragon Ball Z character? And uh, I remember she just goes, what? Piccolo. And we were like, what? <gasps> Dr. Mario! Dr. Mario! Oh my gosh, Dr. Mario! Yes! Dr. Mario! Dr. Mario! The doctor is in the house! My mom used to play this too when we went to sleep. She would play Dr. Mario. <laughs> Double dribble basketball games. I've never been a sports game person. Maybe I would like it. I've played wrestling games. I like wrestling games. Super Mario 2. Nice. Tetris, which is just Dr. Mario, but not as cool. Contra looks really cool, whatever this is. Do you see this? Check it. Nice. Ninja Gaiden. Blaster Master. That's what they call me. He looks cool. Besides Mario Kart, never been a big racing gal. We got NBA Action 94 on the Sega Genesis. 94, that was the year I was born. <laughs> oh, Monster Rancher 2! Monster, I, I love Monster Rancher. Monster Rancher, okay, so if you've never played Monster Rancher, this game is so wild. You, so PlayStation 1, you could literally, go, there was like this temple that you could go to and you could put in any CD and it would tell you what monster, every one, it like generated some sort of code and every CD had a monster on it. And you could feed them. You could feed them like meat and jelly. <gasps> Final Fantasy VII. Such an influential game on me. Oh my god. This is crazy. Pretend I caught that. What? Are you kidding me? Centipede. Classic. We have two copies of Monster Rancher? <gasps> Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Believe in the heart of the cards or I'll send your ass to the Shadow Realm. There's a third copy of Monster Rancher. <gasps> Spyro Year of the Dragon. I have to, oh my god. When I talk about nostalgic games, for me, I always talk about Spyro because for me, it's one of those games that's nostalgic, not just for like playing it with my brothers and, you know, maybe getting to a part where I was like, this is too hard for me. You know, you hand the controller to your older brother. But the sound of this game, like the sound of Spyro's feet, hitting the grass the sound of when he headbutts an enemy like all of these sounds it's like there's this crunchy quality to it oh i really hope this works i really hope this works i can't wait to test this out oh my god Whew. this is another copy of monster rancher mort the chicken wow i remember this <gasps> creatures sometimes i'm convinced i'm the only person who remembers this game you have these eggs and they hatch and then like these little like guys come out and they're like kind of weird and they like giggle and then, oh, oh my gosh, you raise them. You're a little fairy and you fly around, you raise them and they get older and then they have babies of their own and then you raise their babies and it's like generations of these little guys. I completely forgot about this game. I thought these were all like yard sailed or thrown away or donated. I didn't know that we still had these. I could cry. I might cry. Why, why do I feel like crying right now? I really thought that this was just all gone and I don't even know if it works. <laughs> I really hope this works. I'm I'm going to I'm I'm trying not to get my hopes up right now. But it would be very cool if this works. Lots of controllers and just all the systems here. Let me show you. Gosh. Now I know a lot of you are going to say Woody. Sega Genesis Nintendo 64. These things are before your time. Well, almost all of our stuff was used in hand-me-downs and 
yard sales. A lot of the times we got something as soon as the next newest thing came out. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, I have to know. I have to know if these work. Cross your fingers. Let's take a deep breath. And hope that I have all the cables I need. Hey guys, moment of truth. <gasps> so pretty quickly, it became evident that Spyro was not going to work out. The disc had definitely seen some damage over the years, and it couldn't get itself past the loading screen. So I figured I would figure out if Monster Rancher worked. Nope. I realized the reason that we owned 25 million copies of Monster Rancher is because they didn't work. So one by one, gave those a shot and didn't get past the loading screen on any of those. I mean, it can't come as a complete shock. I don't think any of us are exactly the same as we were in 2000. I was able to pull up the memory card for the PlayStation and... I'm not gonna lie, it was a little frustrating looking at those games and knowing that they were just kind of stuck on there. But you know what did work? Creatures. Creatures absolutely <laughs> worked. Oh, see, like they're almost like the Sims. You start off with Adam, that's Adam, Berta, and I definitely need to replace some of the cables for the N64. But then it dawned on me that emulators exist. And lo and behold, and when I was playing Spyro, I was thinking about the memories I had of playing these games with my brothers and thinking that I really ought to reach out to them and maybe we can get some sort of server going and play some games on Discord together. And I realized that video games have never really been a solo thing for me. They've always been something that I want to share with other people and it actually really makes sense to me that I stream video games because I guess I still am getting that feeling, you know, of turning to everybody and going, oh my god, can you believe that? Or having somebody next to me when I beat a boss that I've been stuck on for the past hour. So yeah, some of the games didn't work. As you guys will come to learn over time on this channel, I'm not good with technology. I'm always learning, I'm always improving, but I'm not good with it. Thank you guys so much for being down to go on this nostalgia adventure with me. When I started streaming on Twitch and when I started making videos on YouTube, I heard the same thing over and over again. Witty, find your niche. Witty, find one thing, do it really well, and do it over and over and over again. Find that thing the algorithm likes and just do that. That sounds awful to me. I understand that for some people that is what works for them, and for some people it's what makes them happy, but I... And too curious. I want to try everything. I want to experiment. I want to do new things all the time. Maybe that's not what the almighty algorithm wants. That's okay. <laughs> because really at the end of the day, I just want to have fun and I want to share in that fun with you. So that's what I'm going to do. And I just wanted to take a minute and say that I am so grateful that you guys are along for the ride. And I'm also really grateful to everybody who has subscribed to my new Patreon. I've really enjoyed having a place to put all my thoughts and my musings and my behind the scene progress pics as we take on all these different projects. And that support helps me be able to do this and keep doing this. So I'm super, super grateful. Thank you guys so much. I'm excited for all of this to be a collaborative process that we do together. And honestly, it feels like just the beginning and I'm really excited to see what we do next. So. Thank you guys so much. All right, you guys take care and I'll see you next time. But until then, don't forget that you are currently making the world a better place just by being you, like your superpower. So keep doing that. Bye guys.